You know, I think at this point I'm being punished. Because this, I'm pretty sure this is the second to last chapter of the game, and who we have is who, who we're gonna have until this whole thing is finished. So no more deaths, I don't think. And uh, fuck. Welcome back to Nigger Mappa 3, everyone. Ugh. Oh, everyone's here. Uh, I should check the map before heading to the chapel. I guess. I've been thinking about it for a while, but Kokichi and Kaito don't get along. I trust you to help out, Kaito. Good luck with Maki. Ugh. I hate Maki. Is that right for me to say? I don't care. I'm saying it anyway. I, mean... I sort of like this body. Not as much as Himiko likes hers, though. What? Huh? You like these? You like these disappointing graphics? You know, they're not that disappointing. You know, they're kind of stylish. I like them. Actually, I know, right? They. Wait. That was a compliment. I don't know. Mew's avatar should still be on the side of the chapel. Ugh. Let's head to the chapel right away. But before that, let's check the map. It's only our second time here. Yeah. For now. Before we proceed to the chapel, why don't we examine the map over there? We can confirm together where everyone was when the incident occurred. Perhaps that will give us some sort of clue. Yeah, I guess. <sighs> the two maps on the wall. One of the mansion, one of the world. God, that just burns my eyes. I'll check the map of the mansion first. The first floor has the salon, dining room, kitchen, and bathroom. The second is the roof. We split up when looking for the secret of the world. The secret of the outside world. Kokichi and the salon had the salon. Sumugi had the di the dining room. Kaito the roof, and good guy Gonta the outside. Right. This is the map of the entire virtual world. The world is surrounded by walls in all four directions. There's a loading point in the middle, so the, so the map is split in two. No sight or sound can pass through the map loading point. To get from the mansion to the chapel, you have to go through this point. You also have to cross the river that runs parallel to it. That's how this world is designed. It's strange. I feel as though there's some secret to this. Probably. Probably, probably has something to do with the, the loading point, I'd, I'd imagine. This map was made by Mew. Is that what's bothering me? Everything about Mew is bothering me right now. Hey, Suichi. I understand. Looking at maps makes you feel calm, doesn't it? How? You're the type of kid who stares at maps alone instead of playing at recess, aren't you? Nah. I don't know. Like, the playground I had at school in, that ele in elementary school wasn't that interesting to me. No. Uh, I never did anything like that. Shuichi. Don't forget we're here for you, bro. Shut up. You're not alone anymore. I hope all of you die. I, I, I would sacrifice all of you to bring Mew back, including you, Himiko. That's fine. You don't need to withdraw into a shell, you know. Sumugi, if you died, nobody would care. And I think that's exactly why you're still alive, because if they did kill you off, no one would care. 
I'm so proud of you. You made friends with real people, not ma What the fuck are you talking about? That's wrong. I'm investigating. Just investigating. Run. That's eh, fun. No, it's not. Me was gone. For a split second, I thought that was Kaede or me herself. Oh, Shuichi, could you come? Could you please come with me? What happened? I found something strange. I don't know if it's relevant to the case, but I want to hear your opinion regardless. It's right this way. All right, well, don't lead me to a trap or something. This is toilet paper, right? Why would it be in a place like this? That's right. It's cold here. Huh? What you mean? My initial thought was that someone may have come here to defecate. Don't say that. No. Uh, no, I don't think that's it. I don't think avatars have bowel movements. I don't have to go at all. I didn't realize that. How did you not? That never occurred to me, as I do not need to expel solid waste in the real world. <sighs> Alright, fine. I'm sorry. Uh, wait! It's still strange. Why would toilet paper be in a place like this? Wasn't that there before? I think it was. Unless I'm misremembering, which is possible. Could this be related to the case? It might be. It's still strange. Why would toilet paper be in a place like this? What the fuck is toilet paper? Mm. It's Chinese in origin. Good morning, minister. Toilet paper. Yeah. Yeah, Castlevania reference. Um, the anime they came out with. I haven't actually watched it. I was never into Castlevania, but uh, I've heard very good things about it. I've seen that clip online before. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure I got some of their wording wrong. Still, could this be related to the case? It could be. You don't know. All right, to the chapel. Oh, so I'm just sitting here now? I apologize for earlier. Uh, no need to apologize. I'm not quite certain why he's apologizing anyway. I knew it was going to be like this, but... It's cold. Suck it up. If it's snowing this much, any clues might get buried. Well, then we're going to have to dig for them, aren't we, Himiko? Oh, sorry. Non-magical girl, Himiko. Maybe that's what the culprit wanted? I don't know. Huh? Why is the bridge here? It was repaired. Oh, that's right. He got logged out, so he wouldn't know. Hey, isn't the signboard that Mew threw into the river? Yeah. Whoops, my hand slipped. You know. Is that some other signboard, right? She, she said there's only one of them. Yeah, we found it and put it back. No. It's definitely the same. I brought back the one that was stuck on the rocks in the river. Ah. So that's what happened. But. but there's something bothering me. What? The rocks that, si that the signboard got caught on went on the chapel side of the map. Hmm. They were on the mansion side. What about that bothers you? It just got washed from the chapel to the mansion, right? From the chapel to the mansion? That's odd. The flow of the river. Shuichi. Hey, think later, bro. Let's get moving. Oh, I want to check something real quick. All right. For now, we need to investigate the scene. The 
the flow of the river. Whoa. Yeah, that's a problem. That's definitely a, a problem. Came down here. It should have washed towards the, the chapel and that end up over there. I did not see that before. There's the load point. It's like Zelda. I like the effects of the, of the snowflakes. It's interesting. If you move, they have shadows behind them. That's interesting. I don't, I don't know if that's significant in... in Soon the crime has not been altered since I found her. So there's no possibility that someone tried to tamper with the crime scene afterwards? That's for sure. It's just like how we left it. I'm pretty confident in my memory. I memorized a magic spell that would take a whole year just to chant. Fascinating. If you think I'm lying, I can start the chant right now, you know. Okay, two things. One, what does this spell do? And two, you go ahead and do that non-magical girl, Himiko. We'll take care of the investigation. Unfortunately. No, thank you. I do not think I could wait a whole year. I locked out Avatar. I locked out Avatar disappears. But if the real body dies... Ah. Let me just do this again. Ah. I fucking hate this game. The avatar remains unchanged. Look at all this stuff scattered around. What happened here? That's what we're going to start investigating right now. Isn't that right, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Right. Hey, hey non-magical girl Himiko, could you tell me more about when you found Mew one more time? You actually remind me, I don't remember exactly. Yeah, we were looking for the secret of the outside world at the chapel. But since Mew volunteered to check outside the chapel, she was separated from us. A while after we started the search, we heard a really loud sound outside. Something must have hit the wall of the chapel really hard. We felt it all the way from inside. Something hit the chapel wall? So we all rushed outside to check the side of the chapel and we found Mew's avatar. And then, we all, tried to ch we all tried to go to the mansion to log out and check Mew's real body. But when we got to the river, the bridge was gone for some reason, yeah. Then while we were standing around wondering what to do, you guys showed up. Thank you. I got it. There must be some clue in that account. What's wrong, Kibo? Is something bothering you? Well, I just remembered something. I think the whispering I, I overheard might be relevant to this case. Uh, um, you heard whispering? Yes. I did not intend to eavesdrop, but I did hear it. Shortly before we gathered at the chapel and disappeared to begin and dispersed to begin searching. Oh yeah! Before we split up. I want to ask you something, Mew. Really? It would seem Kokichi and Mew have made some have made plans to meet each other. Huh? Meet each other? Yes. Kokichi was confirming the specific place they were supposed to meet. I couldn't hear the whole conversation, but I'm certain the rooftop was mentioned. Then... Those two met on the rooftop? Well... But... It's strange, right? 
Yeah, they were planning to meet on the mansion's rooftop. Why didn't Mew volunteer to search the area around the chapel? You're right. That is true. If they were meeting on the roof, she would have wanted to search the mansion. Either way, she shouldn't have been able to get to the rooftop. She was searching the area around the chapel, which is where we found her avatar. And with no bridge to cross the river, she could not have gone from the chapel to the mansion. That's true. Something is strange about all this. Oh, look at her. Isn't she pretty? Ugh, why is he here? You can't leave footprints in the snow, so it's probably not a clue. What's well, not a clue? Shuichi, let's get pumped and investigate. We can find a new clue here. We can clear my name. I'm gonna give it my all. But not because I don't trust you or anything like that. It's just that after hearing all that crap Kokichi said, as a man, I can't stay quiet. Well, yeah, wonderful. Is this a piece of lattice? Why is this here? That is a mysterious object. It's a wooden mat. Used to be common in bathrooms. Was it? In Japan, maybe? I don't know. I didn't see anything like it at the chapel. Where did it come from? I think, was this in the storage in the mansion? Not from the chapel. Then why is it here? I just figured it out with my magic. Oh, did you? You did? No, she didn't, you idiot. Maybe someone used that instead of the signboard to cross the river. Huh. That someone is the culprit. It's possible. No? No? Uh, I don't think so. The river's current is pretty fast. Even if you did use it across, there's no reason it would be here. I, I know that. I was just testing you a little. Oh, thank you for making me look stupid then, Shuichi. Yeah, I'm, just trying, I'm, just, I'm just trying to consider all options here. Why would you want to test me? Because she's lying, you idiot! But what does this mean? What's something like this doing here? I'm not positive why this lattice is, here, is left here, but... I'm sure that it must have something to do with the case. Slides enough in the chapel, and why is it here? The loud sound that they heard could have been someone throwing this lattice against the, the wall. I'd guess. This is a hammer. Why would there be a hammer in this world? Ah, my eyes! I rebuilt the program to delete all dangerous objects that could be used as weapons. Hmm. Did she do that, or did she possibly, like, rewrite the program so that, so nothing can be used as a weapon? So even, even if someone had a hammer and used it on someone, it couldn't hurt them. Mew said she deleted dangerous objects. I can't imagine she'd miss a hammer. But was Mew lying? But why would she lie? Again, like I said, like maybe she didn't actually delete uh, dangerous, we dangerous weapons. Maybe she just like removed the ability to use something as a weapon. Uh, but we'll see. Is this a cell phone? There were cell phones in this world. But what could it be for? If I had to hazard a guess right now, if you can only leave this world using the telephone in the mansion, it's possible that this cell phone was was used to leave whenever you want to. Like, whenever and wherever you wanted to. No. Ah, that's it. It's a phone, so... 
A cell phone? I can't believe there's something like this here. Ah. Kaito, perfect timing. I need you to help me out with something. I just want to test something out. Come on, man. Help you out? Of course. I never say no to a favor, a favor from my sidekick. Thank you. Kaito. You know, so what do you need me to do? Is that all right? Uh, you don't have to do anything. You just have to stand here. I gotta stand. I just gotta stand here. Kaito Momoda. You have his number? Aha, that's what I thought. He logged out just as I thought. That could be it. Kaito said he was he found himself logged out for some reason, so it's whoever had this phone before probably used it to log him out. Either just either to set either to set him up as a suspect. Or perhaps just to just to test things out. And then maybe, maybe they used it on themselves to kill Mew. Ah, oh, my precious girl. And then log back in. Eh. This can be used to log out, just like the phone in the, in the salon. And this proves it doesn't have to be the person themselves. If you just say their name. You can log out anyone you like. All right. I see. Thanks to Cactus' help, I'm starting to pin this down. You want to bring him back? I bet Kaito was pretty surprised when he logged out all of a sudden. I should apologize for that later. Oh, my precious girl. Mew's avatar is frozen, collapsed in the snow. A logged out avatar disappears. But the real body dies, the avatar remains. Makes sense for a killing game simulator. If the body, if the body disappeared, we couldn't investigate. The avatars never show injury, so they stay the same. She still looks almost alive. But Her face is so pretty here, isn't it? I know, isn't it? It's hard to believe. She's dead. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I've finished my investigation of this area. Shuichi. It would seem that we're finished investigating this place. Okay. Yeah. Hey, there's something I wanted to ask. Can our avatars hide objects? Um, uh, it seems like you can put stuff in your clothes here too. Just like the, just like the real world. I see. Just like the real world. So, what are we gonna do next? Are we going back to the real world already? Ah, before that, there's one more place I have to investigate. The mansion rooftop. Very well then. The place Miu and Kokichi were supposed to meet. The place Kaito logged out. I'm positive it has something to do with this case. There should be clues there. I don't really get it, but if you want to investigate, then let's go do that, Shuichi. You're right. All of you are useless. Um. Shuichi, everyone is counting on you, including myself. Shuichi. Please give the class trial everything you've got and see us through to the end. Leave me alone. I'll do my best as well, of course. G go away, leave me alone. And I as well. I can at least do that. I'm a detective after all. Um, oh, you. Now we run. Now oh, let's go this. Oh, well, no, follow the path. Up to the roof. Shuichi. Hey, Shuichi. What was that all about? Oh. Sorry. Uh, Kaito. I'm so sorry. I just want to see if you could log out using the cell phone. Then tell me first. That was bad for my heart. I suddenly got logged out. I panicked and rushed back here. Sorry. Stop it. 
come on now. That's enough. Don't interfere with the investigation. No. I wasn't interfering. Wait, why don't you guys come back here? Did you already finish investigating? Uh, I want to investigate the rooftop next. Huh? What's important about the rooftop? Was it Mew at the chapel the whole time? We found it on the ground next to it. Uh. Now, now. Let's believe in Shuichi's reasoning. It'll be okay. Shuichi can do it for sure. He's the ultimate detective after all. Hmm. If you're gonna be like that, then do what you want. Investigate the rooftop or whatever. But Shuichi is my sidekick. In other words, his deductions are my deductions. Oh god. And my deductions are his. Ah, uh, no, nah, that's fine. That, 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 that's cool. What are you? Some credit stealing bully? <laughs> I mean, well, I'm gonna investigate Mew's avatar since I got interrupted last time. Sorry. Well, then. Let's go to the rooftop. Yeah. We should. What's this? Oh, nothing, okay. Uh, this, this way. I don't remember all these stairs being here. But it's been a while, I guess. Me and Kokichi were supposed to meet on this very rooftop. And the person in charge of searching this area, Kaito, was forcibly logged out. That's true. And this area must have something to do with the case. Um, I see. Hey. What's wrong, Sumugi? Look at that doorknob. It's locked. Oh. It is. It's a thumb turn lock. I don't know what a thumb turn lock is. Easy to lock. Oh, you know what? I, I see what you mean. But... It seems like you can't lock it unless you're on the outside. Interesting. And look, the keyhole is on this side of the door. Isn't it usually the other way around? No. Not necessarily. I've seen this before. Prevent you from locking yourself out. It's like locking yourself out. I see. Hmm. Is that so? The rooftop has a lock on the door. That is important information. The door's locked. You can only lock from the outside. Yeah. Um. Kibo, did you find anything? This is difficult. There's nothing here that seems to resemble a clue. But Mew should have arranged to meet with Kokichi here. I thought we could at least confirm whether or not she really came to the rooftop. But unfortunately, there were no clues which indicate that. Did Mew ever come to the roof? That is an important question. Hey. Kibo, I wanted your opinion on something. Do you think you could get up and down from this roof from outside the mansion? No, that would be that would have been very difficult. This rooftop is rather high. Even the edge of the roof is roughly the height of a three to four story building. You're right. Yes, certainly too high to jump. Which means it would be it would have been impossible to climb up from the outside. That means the only way to this rooftop is the stairs. But Mew should have arranged to meet with Kokichi here. I thought we could at least confirm whether or not she really came to the rooftop. But unfortunately, there were no clues which indicate that. Hmm. What's wrong, non-magical Gohimiko? Okay. When murders happen in a mansion in the snow like this, they're always locked from they're always locked from mysteries created by piled up snow. Isn't that right? I don't know. But it's disappointing that you can't leave footprints in the, on the snow in this world. Is that something to be disappointed about? Alright, well, the binoculars now. It might not be directly connected to the case, but I shouldn't inspect these binoculars. 
I can see I can see that this building is on top of a hill. You can always see that. And I can't see past this point because it's the map loading point. But that is strange. Why would the map loading point be right in the middle of the world? Something doesn't seem right. Okay. The storage room. It's a little different from how, than how I remember. Yeah, that lattice was here. It feels as if something is missing. Yeah, the lattice. It feels as if something is missing. The lattice. But I wasn't paying close enough attention the first time, so I don't remember. <sighs> Idiot. I've inspected everything here. All that's left now is... Oh, Sensible Maki, you're here. I hate you. Oh, there you are. I was looking for you. Huh? Maki? Why are you here? I thought you were analyzing the program. Monotaro finished analyzing the program, so he told me to gather everyone. He finished? Shuichi. We should probably head back now, then. Head back then. Our investigation here is pretty much done, right? Okay. Yeah, you're right. I've investigated everything I needed to. Shuichi. Well then, we'll head back first. I don't want to say goodbye to my avatar. You can come back later, I guess. Did you like it that much? Did you, you hate it at first, though? Well, we should go to. Hey. What's wrong? You. Well, you're definitely more, you're definitely more reliable in a class trial than out. <sighs> Thank you, Maki. All the others think so, too. Huh? What? Well, I'm not trying to sound like Kaito, but I don't think you should carry all the burden alone. Yoshuichi Saihara, before you're a detective. Don't ever forget that. Well, I shouldn't be talking. I have to wear my identity as Maki Harukawa to be an assassin. Thank you. Maki. She was being considerate just now? If she's thinking what I think she's thinking, no! It's not for you, Maki. It's for Kaede. I miss Kaede. Have I mentioned that before? I'm pretty sure I have. I'm curious, to, I'm curious as to the results of Monotaro's investigation. I shall log out from the salon. Or you get the cell phone. He left at the mansion, I think, but still, that could be used. It's just you and me. We should log out, too. Does something happen between you and Kaito? What? When he logged out a little while ago, he looked like he was in a bad mood. I'm sorry. That's probably my fault. I don't know what happened between you and Kaito, but that idiot is simple. So I'm sure he'd forgive you if you just apologized. He did. Let's go. Uh, um... Shuichi Sahara. Hey, level it up again. That's cool. Uh, is someone else dead? Is Miu alive? Ugh. Ugh, God. I pulled the device off my head, and the real world appeared before me. Shuichi. Well, Shuichi, isn't the real world way better than some virtual reality? Leave me alone. Anyway, I felt so lonely without you around. 
Apologize for making me feel unloved. You are unloved. Hey. Is there something I wanted to ask you? I totally didn't draw anything on you. Tell me why you were logged in, okay? Okay, first of all, that's not what I asked you. Second of all, Shuichi, check your stomach. Third of all, shut the fuck up, Kokichi. Huh? What? It's a lie. <laughs> I'm kidding. What was it? You, so what was it you wanted to ask? Is that all right? You plan to meet Mew in the roof, right? Did you end up meeting her? And now you don't want to talk. Oh. So you know about so you know about that, Shuichi. Impressive, Mr. Ultimate Detective. Okay. Then I'll tell you what happened. I never met up with Mew. I couldn't get to the rooftop because it was locked. Huh? Locked? After I gave up and went back to the salon to search for the secret of the outside world. Try that again. After, I gave up and went back to the salon to search for the secret of the outside world. Um. Is that true, Kokichi? Mm -hmm. Are you doubting me? Yes! Can someone verify that you were at the salon the entire time? I'm guessing Gonta. Did you meet anyone there? No, I don't have a witness. Right? But you can also say there's no witness to who can prove I wasn't there. Right. Hey. Unless you saw the salon open... Uh, um, damn. Unless you saw the salon empty yourself. Well, it's up to you whether you want to believe me or not. Shuichi. But you shouldn't doubt me like that. We're partners. Which one is it? Did Kokichi meet with me or not? Is he lying or telling the truth? Which is it? Ask Monotaro for the result of the analysis. I don't know the details yet either. Has it been almost 40 minutes already? Oh. <laughs> so this is goodbye to my avatar. Oh, will you hush? Mew is gone. All right, that's m far more important than your suffering. First you log me out, and now we get called by Monotaro because he needs to tell us something. I wasn't able to finish investigating Mew's avatar again. Hey. What are we gonna do? I can't clear my name like this. Hush. Well, it's up to you whether or not whether you want to believe me or not. We shouldn't doubt me like that. We're partners. Leave me alone. In the end, we never found out we never found when Monokuma hit the secret of the outside world. It seems like it wasn't in the chapel either. I'm guessing I, I honestly think there was there wasn't a secret. Uh, whoops. I keep forgetting what the hell this is about. But more importantly, we need to do something about Mew's case. Did you speak to Kokichi about his meeting with Mew? Okay. Oh, that's that's Kiba saying it. Uh, he said he didn't meet with Mew. He claimed the rooftop was locked, so he couldn't enter. Mm. I see. But this is Kokichi we're talking about. He could very well be lying. There's no time for sleeping. How come no one want, want to do investigation? Right, he doesn't understand the virtual world. No can do that. That not gentlemanly at all. I wasn't sleeping. Yeah, this bottle here. I forgot about this. There's a small bottle in the chair. This is a poison that came from my lab. The label contains some information about the poison. According to the warning, it's a dangerous poison. Is any poison not dangerous? Mixing the poison with any solvent will reduce the effects. It has to be consumed directly. 
I wonder if there are any poison experts who can actually probably figure out what the poison is just from that description alone. I know water is a solvent. That's about all I know about it, though. But even a small amount is enough to kill an adult. If you could put just a little bit into the victim's open mouth, they would die instantly. It's certainly an effective method for killing someone who's been logged in, who's logged in, but... But what? Something about these listed symptoms bothers me. This poison causes sub... Ah, oh, jeez. This poison causes sub... God damn it. Subcon... Subconjunctival. My god, thank you, for, thank you for letting me sound stupid. Subconjunctival blood vessels to hemorrhage. That should cause bloodshot eyes. The person who brought this poison here. I can't be certain that certain they're the culprit. But I do know that poison was placed on that person's chair. Kokichi's chair. Oh, my precious girl. Mew's hands are clasped around her neck as if she were gasping for air. Her eyes are wide open in panic. She must have suffered quite a bit. The person who found Mew's body was Kibo, the first to log out. He said that he still had the helmet on her. She's on, she's on the helmet on her head at the time. Still. What caused her to suffer like this? What was the cause of death? Oh. Alright, Monotara, what do you have? Hey! I've been waiting for you, Shuichi. I'm sure Sensible Maki already told you. But I finally finished analyzing the program. Okay. I'm trying to put together a lot of important facts, so here they are. He really is trying to be our friend. A little bit, at least. So. First, the person who, pro who tapped in with this pro program was... Mommy! Like we suspected. Don't call her that. She's not your mom. She's my mommy. <gasps> mommy has an eccentric way of writing her code. Sonya was her right away. You don't know anything about her. I guess her personality was the, wasn't the only eccentric thing about her. Got a minute? So what did she tamper with? Um. Living in a lazy parallel world. A few things. But I'll share the first one with you. So. It looks like Mommy deleted a lot of objects from this killing game simulator. She said that she deleted anything that could be used as a weapon. But in that case, why is there a hammer? Okay. That's true. Only the hammer was left. But why was it left, hmm? The way the program was written makes it seem like she did it on purpose. On purpose? Do you think Mew was actually planning on killing someone herself? I mean, she was. I mean, I, I understand that. I, I, that, that. I perfectly understand that. Oh. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I have my controller connected with the cable. It got caught on something. <clears throat> then... Did she add anything? We found a cell phone in the virtual world. Hmm. No, that cell phone was, on, was an original feature of the program. That implies Mew hid that fact from us, which means... All Mommy added were the two maps. This was already part of the program. By the way. While we're talking about objects, I wanted to ask you something. We used the signboard to cross the river, but could we have used something else as a bridge? I didn't really see anything that could be, have been used as a bridge to cross the river. So only that signboard could have been used as a bridge. So, what's the next thing she tampered with? Well, it looks like she also tampered with certain parameters of the program. Huh? Parameters? Um. Everything in that program is categorized as either a human or a non-human object. Of course, everyone's avatar was assigned the human parameter. Really? But for some reason, 
Mommy gave her avatar the non-human object parameter. Why? That's... And what happens when you become an object? Is that what killed her? Well, the difference is only for the identification purposes, so it probably didn't affect anything. Hmm. But if it didn't affect anything, then why would she have gone out of her way to do that? Perhaps that something has something to do with the next thing she tampered with. So. Mommy added a wall that didn't originally exist in the program. The loading point? Yep. The coordinates of the virtual world are represented on an x-axis and a y-axis. That's like anything, but alright. And it seems Mommy added a wall that runs the length of the y-axis. Why would she add the load point? Cause I thought that was weird. Because like this world isn't big, isn't big enough to need a load point. It's big enough to have the, the entire area all together. Huh? She created an additional wall. There were walls in all four directions and two down the the, the y whack y axis. Jeez. You paused if there was only one. Okay. Yep, it's definitely the only one. What does that mean? Which wall was the one Mew at? The load point. She added that for some reason. What was the world like originally? You said there wasn't anything past the wall. Oh, uh, wait, now I'm seeing with the, the glowing walls and the... <sighs> okay, I look stupid again. Was that another lie? I'm sure she had a good reason to lie. If she, if she did. Also, looks like that extra wall was given a special setting. A setting that allows non-human objects to pass through it. Allows objects through? So, is there actually something beyond those walls? That's very interesting. So, are those all the things you tampered with? Oh, there's one more thing. So, um, one of you guys also had a strange setting given to their avatar. A strange setting? Yeah, the setting made it so they would be unable to move if mommy touched them. Why? Then... So, if you touch them, their avatar would be paralyzed. Hey. Who was it? Is it the Kibo or Shuichi? I'm guessing. Oh. Kokichi. It, it's me? I didn't know that. <laughs> well, duh, I wouldn't know. I never touched Mew in that world. I see, I see. I didn't even notice. Okey That's all I have to report. Well, do you, do you think it'll help you guys out? Yes, Monotaro, thank you, and you're probably gonna die next, I'm guessing. Okay. That helps a lot. Thanks. It's probably gonna be Monokuma who does it. What was she trying to do? With all the information that we have now, I feel like it sounds to me that Mew was planning her own murder. Not her own murder, but she's planning to kill someone. You know what the hell I mean. She's planning on killing someone, but someone got to her first. Oh, I should probably tell you guys this too. That's probably not related to the case. So. Some sort of avatar user error occurred when you all logged in for the first time. Uh, um. An error? Hmm. 
The contents of the arrow are unknown, so I can't provide any details. But something strange definitely happened to someone's avatar when you all logged in. I don't think anyone's avatar was acting strange, though. What kind of error could it be? That's important information. Mm, maybe Mew's avatar? Maybe Kokichi's? Maybe, maybe the program didn't work for some reason? Avatar error. Mm. I figured. What are you doing? Where is he right now? <sighs> okay, everyone. Time for the class trial. You know, that thing where everyone stands in a circle and talks about the dead body. What's wrong, Monokuma? You got plenty of sushi. Is that pasta? And champagne. Your own branded champagne, it seems. In your own branded... Pot? I don't know. Hmm. Low energy? Me? No, 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 sorry. Really. <laughs> I'm just taking a little break right now. When I'm dead, I'll be my usual energized self. Yep. I'll be way... All right. Hey! Well, Monokuma being low energy during the um, the trial would probably be an interesting change of pace. You seem like you're not. Yeah, um, you seem like you're not into it at all. We going to have to do the class trial, you know. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, the fuck we do. I need to find out who did that to Best Girl. And so we're doing this class trial, non matching with Himiko. It's gonna start, huh? We know can't stop it anymore. You're right. No, we can't. You know that? Yes, that's exactly right. That no, the fuck we can't. I'm. Someone did that to Best Girl, and I need to find out who. So. This is all I can tell you guys. But I don't want any of you to forget. I'm your friend. Go away, Monotaro. He just decided we're friends? Yeah, exactly. So go away. Thank you. You're going to feel relieved. Why? <laughs> Don't worry, Monotaro. Shuichi will get revenge for Mew's death. So mean. You'll get that revenge by finding the culprit among us. Uh, why do I feel like that Kokichi's going to survive the entire game? I know he is. I fucking hate that. He's right. The culprit is someone here. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. I'm gonna call you the Red Ranger from now on. When this class trial is over, I hope we can all get to know each other better. That's the kind of line that triggers a death flag. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I want a fresh start. I want to make up for my past mistakes. Yeah, Monotar was dying next. Wait. That too. <laughs> Bye. Meeting you all has really... Sorry. It's nothing. I'll save it for after the, tr the class trial is finished. <laughs> you might want to tell us right now. Yes. The flag is rising. You know what else is rising? All right, let me, I sh that's, that's dumb. Hmm? What was that? I think I heard something over there. I'll go check it out all by myself. Uh, you do that. So long. Farewell. What did you say? It's waving in the wind. All right. Well, I don't know why you're so upset about that, Himiko. If he dies, he dies. I don't care about him. This is stupid. Quit screwing around. Let's hurry up and go. Going to do his best. Two. Good guy going to do his best to be even. To be even a little bit useful for everyone. Wow. I'm so excited. I'll definitely expose the culprit this time. 
What's so exciting about this? You all right there, Kaito? With conflicting emotions in our hearts, we headed to the Shrine of Judgment. Oh, my precious girl. Anyone here to talk to? No? Why don't we just use the map? Anyone here? Nope. Oh my god, there's so few of us now. It looks like... That's everyone. Oh. This everyone, huh? There are a lot less of us now. It's about to be at least one more or less, too. This is just half of what we started with. Unfortunately. Because we've all allowed this game to continue. We must stop it somehow. Right. But we can't stop now! We can't let the fun end. Kokichi, I swear to fucking God, if I drowned you right now, everyone would defend me. C cut it out! I'm certain this trial will be the last one. Um, there should be at least one more after this. Like, if this game follows the pattern that the first two games have, this is the second to last chapter of the game. Hey. Let's focus on surviving the first class, not this class trial first. I guess. Y you're right. If we mess up here, our numbers will go down even quicker. It'd just be the culprit left. But... That might be okay. Maybe that's just another way to stop the killing game. If we all die, then the killing game would end. What? Don't say stupid crap like that. It's pointless if we all die. Okay. Well, we don't have to worry. We've got the ultimate detective on our side. You're right. Yeah, it's time for the detective to shine. Shuichi, please keep up the good work. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll do my best. Yes. I have to keep it together. This is the only time my talent can shine. I'm not just saving my life. Everyone's life is on the line. If I can't find the truth here, everyone will be sacrificed. And I will never let that happen. Come on, man. Hey, Shuichi. You're getting all tense. Huh? Uh, what? Didn't I tell you before? Shuichi, don't carry the burden all. Get it? And didn't I tell you before not to get in the way, Kaito? Kokichi, please shut the fuck up. Huh? What's your problem? You really don't get it. We're all relying on Shuichi to carry our asses through this class trial, okay? You're like a parent repeating the same lines over and over. You're bothering him. Not really. I think that's the most annoying thing you can do to Shuichi, you know? You know that? Huh? What do you mean? I'm not... <sighs> Kokichi, you're annoying. Please don't. Whoa. Killer girl's glaring at me. I was only kidding around. Maki's glare seemed to do the trick as Kokichi turned around, dejected. Jeez. Finally, that pest is gone. Thanks, Maki Roll. Just suck it up, Kaito. Now's not the time to be bickering with each other. Got it. Ah, my bad. Sorry. Um Kaito, I'm okay. Well. I know what you want to say, Kaito. You don't have to worry. I believe in you. I see. In that case, I'll believe in you and won't say anything else. Shuichi. If you have any problems. Let me know. I'll help you. I'm here for you, bro. Thank you. Kaito? Go 
Going to do his best. Going to not really understand what happened, but going to try real hard to be useful this time. Just wanna, there we go. This time, will really be the end. If not, I believe in you. I won't say anything else. If you have any problems, let me know. I'm here. I'll help you. I'm here for you, bro. Yeah. We'll be depending on you this time, too, Mr. Ultimate Detective. Um. Mew certainly wasn't perfect. She was absolutely perfect. You're a fucking liar, Kibo. But that doesn't mean she deserved to be killed. No one deserves what happened to her. Not a single person. I mean, the guy behind you probably deserves it. You must have it rough, Shuichi. That obnoxious guy is always bothering you. Shuichi. If you ever need my help, call me. I'll shut him up so he never gets in your way. Leave me alone. Maki roll? You didn't forget, right? Remember who you are. Make sure you never forget that. Yeah. All right. Chapter four trial is on is ahead of us, everyone. So let's get to it. Later. So until then, I'll talk to you guys next time.